Hello and welcome to another Toy Box audio video demonstration. And today let's look at the Super Saw module. Everyone likes the Super Saws. Um, and so we developed our own Super Saw module. It's got some interesting features, some maybe one of which you'll never have seen before. So let's have a look anyway. So here we go, let's play a note. That sounds like a saw with nothing going on. So one of the interesting features of this particular implementation of Super Saw is that you can use the detune knob. Basically there are two Super Saws playing but if you offset the detune you can slightly put them out of phase with each other, set them back at zero and the phase offset remains. And if you can hear that, so I'll up this again. You can hear the positions of the prominent phases change around the stereo spectrum. Let's try and find the middle. There you go, I think I found the middle. Okay. So here we have our Super Saw module. Three main buttons here. We have the chord function, which cycles through some templates of intervals, the unison button, which is ultimately a mix control. Turn it up and you hear the additional super saws become there. And we have the detune function as well, which thickens everything up to our desire. So, again, let's try and find a nice middle point for my ears. So, if we turn the unison up, we can mix in the other super saws which are being generated and they'll become thicker and more detuned as we increase the detune. Hear them phase. So if we just turn the unison all the way up so we can hear all the super saws. There's also a button in here called thick and this basically doubles the number of super saws and spreads them out across the stereo spectrum again. So let me flick it on. And we have super thick super saws. So at the moment we've got just a simple stereo implementation of the saws. So we could cycle through our chord options here. So what do we have? We have the fifth. Let's play it a bit higher up. And of course the tuning goes way beyond what you'd expect. Let's have a look at some others. Basic minor chord. However, this is the secret button here, the scale snap option. So, if I just play these minor chords rather ignorantly across the keyboard. Sounds like cool house music and drum and bass music from the early 90s. Uh, but if we enable scale snap, then the notes offered by this chord generator here are pulled into key by default, they're pulled all to the white notes, so basic C, C chord. So even though we've got the minor setting on here, it sounds like that minor third is being pushed down to the second or the ninth, however you wish to see these notes. But basically, rather than C, E flat, G, which you might expect with a C minor, like this, you're getting C, D, and G. Okay, and that's useful for just keeping your things in key so you can pick any of these crazy extensions here. Let's go for a minor seventh. Mm, all in C. And of course, if you want to change the key, of that scale snap because it defaults to all the white notes. We can just shift the chord 
the course tuning up to whatever key you want. Five, five and a half, six and eight, there you go, three and a bit. There you go, there's, there's your key. Okay, so we'll cycle through these a little further. You turn the scale snap off for the moment. And just see how wide these detuned saws go. Ooh, it's quite wide. Cacophonous car journey. Everyone's beeping their horns. Just turn thick off for a second. Obviously it's less thick. And you can hear the saws a little more clearly. But there we go, that's what we want to hear. Okay, so let's flick over here to some of the others. couple of octave unisons at the end here for your ultimate fatness. Let's see how fat we can get before the orchestra is all out of tune. Okay, let's try one little other facility here. We're going to add the FM function. Let's connect that up. I should just show you how we've got the wires connected up here. Pretty simple, out of the note in into the super saw with the pitch. The pitch also is going to the FM source oscillator, the modulating oscillator. And we've got the gate going obviously to the envelope here. And nothing no gate going to the super saw because there's no oscillator reset facility in that module. I'll put that back in the middle again. Okay, so we've got our FM. Let's clean this up a little bit. And see what happens when we turn up the FM. Oh, oh yeah. Lots of goodness there, so let's just drop that down an octave. Because that's my favourite thing to do. Just enjoy the warmth, the warmth and cuddliness of FM, FM'd super saws. Mm. What niceness. Turn the scale snap off to stop that beating. Oh, I think the plane is about to land, so it must be time to sign off. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little trawl through our Super Saw module. Enjoy! <laughs>